What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Alexander Usyk, Tyson Fury. Get this. According to Turkey Alashik, His Excellency, the fight between Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury, part two, will be in Saudi Arabia, but it won't be in October. It will be December 21st. There was initial suggestions that it would meet in October, but the date has been pushed back after a prolonged buildup, a cut to Fury postponed to planned February date of this year, and what proved to be a bruising encounter. Saudi Arabia's chair of general entertainment authority, Turkey al Sheikh, posted to social media the rematch between Alexander Usyk the champion and Tyson Fury is now scheduled on the 21st of December during Riyadh season. And let me counterpunch. Um, the rematch will happen, but the problem is now since they've prolonged it just that much farther, we don't know what the IBF now will take action to because the longer you prolong something, the more likely it is for the IBF to strip. Canelo's vacating because Canelo knows that the IBF doesn't play that garbage. They do not play, okay? And Alexander Usyk has asked for an exception, okay? But we haven't had an answer yet. We just know more than likely, unless something happens between Wednesday and Saturday, that Philip Hergovic versus Danny Dubois will not be fighting for that title. So as of now, Alexander Usyk is still the champion on the IBF end, okay? But now, since we know it's been pushed back due to a bruising encounter and the cut that already happened before, which doesn't make sense, um, is pushing that fight back. Now, I don't know whose side it's on. A bruising encounter, I don't know. They're both bruised. They're both battered. They both, you know, went at each other, right? So I don't really know whose fault it is for or whose idea was it for the fight to be postponed. I just know it's postponed and it will be for unification, of course. I mean, it will be for the remaining of the belts, but it won't be full undisputed like it was before, you know? And I think that if anything, um, these guys do need time to heal, but from October to December, you know, I think you know, um, something had to happen to prolong the fight. Maybe the dates, maybe, you know, uh, you need space in between September because, of course, September, uh, Anthony Joshua is going to fight in Wembley. So maybe they need a little time frame, you know, to set their dates. It could be a scheduling issue. Hopefully that's what it is. But whatever it is, that won't stop the IBF more than likely from stripping that title. OK, and that's the whole thing. If you want to fight for something, you want to fight for all of it. You know what I mean? And I know it dampers any fighter that has promised to get in there with that undisputed champion. If he's not undisputed anymore, it's, it dampens and it makes it that much less uh, desirable. Okay. Now for a newbie like Philip Hergovic or somebody like that, or Daniel Dubois, if he beats Hergovic, you know, those guys will be happy to be a unified champion if they could fight for the unified championship belt. But Dubois already done it. You know, and I think that undisputed means a whole lot more because it's something that doesn't happen all the time if you want to fight for that particular belt. You know, so um, Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk, the good thing is it's set. OK, so that was only a projection anyway, October. But again, what does that do to the IBF? Because, you know, they're already tempted to pull the plug and strip Alexander Usyk of that title. So we'll see what develops with that. I'll say this, it could be worse because you can remember the Jack Catterall versus the Josh Taylor situation where Catterall was just, you know, he clearly beat Josh Taylor, got a knockdown and all that, but, you know, he still didn't win the belt. And then after that, the belts all fragmented and dispersed and he, he dropped them and all that stuff. So when he fought them and beat them last weekend, they weren't there available anyway. So, you know, he can't be officially the undisputed champion. So, you know, at least, you know, this would be a better scenario than that, unless everyone comes 
for their uh, mandatories all at one time, which that won't happen because Alexander Usyk did his job with his unified titles when he had them. OK, and Anthony Joshua beforehand. So you guys tell me what you think of Turkey Alashik scheduling the fight between Alexander Usyk, the champion, the undisputed champion and challenger Tyson Fury, December 21st. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.